yeah, uh, supply chain or the logistics for trade um, uh, or the global value chain, all these you know, uh, terms or the activities have one thing very common, which is we call logistics. And when I say logistics, it includes all its components, um, the hardware and the software or the infrastructure or the processes, the human resource, the technology, which is involved in moving goods from their point of production or origin to the point of consumption, right? And this entire process, um, uh, uh, I would not exclude uh, the international uh, trade also from this thing. Uh, when it comes to global supply chains or when it comes to international trade, the, the linking factor uh, is logistics, right? And as I said, logistics would have two major components, the hardware and the software, the process and the services component. For this, we will have to be creating capacities with adequate redundancy in the uh, sector or in, in, in the infrastructure which is being created with a time span of not less than 25 years. What we have been looking at generally is uh, when we are thinking of creating infrastructure, we have been looking at the immediate market demand and basis that we have been trying to create capacities. And we also know, despite the fact, we also know that the demand is going to only increase tomorrow or year after or uh, two or three years later, we still do not keep that perspective in mind and create higher capacities. And therefore, even just at the uh, you know, completion of the project, at the time of completion of the project, I am already saturated uh, with its capacities, right? So. Uh, um, if I am to talk about vision uh, for the logistics sector or for the supply chain, it would be create capacities with adequate um, redundancy in the capacities and with a perspective of maybe 25 years at least. This is one. Secondly, the digital uh, revolution which is happening all over, you know, should I mean, this is already, you know, there's quite a penetration uh, of digital technology into the logistics sector or the supply chain sector. This should be further, uh, further enhanced, right? Or maybe the pace which it is attained, if it is already very high pace, fine, it should further continue uh, at the same pace. But um, um, I mean, good to see, I mean, these guys today have been talking about the customer centricity. Whenever we are thinking about creating digital solutions, um, be it relating to the supply chain or logistics or relating to the trade generally, to the extent we are keeping in mind the end customer, I think the majority of my problem is already solved. And the success of that initiative is largely uh, assured, right? So I think the customer centricity, which is being now um, considered very important, and uh, I really uh, appreciate the e-com ecosystem. They are, I mean, so much so uh, customer centric that uh, the attraction of the customer to the e-com is uh, is like going to be like uh, magnetic, right? And uh, uh, the the kind of shift from the conventional uh, uh, the system of procurement or purchasing um, is happening at a very fast pace. And why I'm saying e-com is more customer centric because you know we have this policy in the conventional uh, uh, market scenario that you know the bika hua mal wapas nahi hoga. I was talking to the guys, right? But e-com is different in this sense. They will only say it is up to the vendor to only supply good goods, right? Only supply the quality goods and the onus is completely on the vendor. Customer is not being asked so many questions which were earlier being asked. This is a change in the philosophy. I mean a major shift in the philosophy and I think this is the major reason um, for, for the 
econ success. So I think if that goes on and this uh, these positive philosophies are taken forward, I think uh, there is a future and a very bright future for uh, the supply chain or the uh, e-commerce in that sense. It's like this whole of the government approach or whole of the nation approach is not integrating supply chain into the government, but it is getting, I mean, the entire government and the nation is coming together, adopting an integrated approach to solve the problem of supply chain, right? So it is for the supply chain, right? This entire uh, approach has been adopted. These systems have been put in place, right? When I say supply chain, I am generally meaning the logistics because that's a common thing, uh, a common factor, be it uh, for supply chain, be it for trade, internal or external, right? So therefore, um, the, whole, uh, the national logistics policy and PM Gadi Shakti, uh, they are complementing each other and coming as a very strong combination um, and then, uh, you know, solving the problems uh, relating to the supply chain or the logistics for that matter.